Okay, today in the shop we are starting a new build. This is a Unimog 425 body that I 3D printed. The uh, majority of it came from Thingiverse. Uh, I've changed a lot of small things on it to make the details uh, better for the age range we want to go for. And then these axles are the Mad Moose RC 3D printed Shapeways axles. If uh, the story's right on these particular ones, these are one of ten pre-production axles that was produced and sold directly uh, by uh, Mad Moose RC. And we were lucky enough uh, to become owners of them this year. So we want to carry on the 3D printed theme, full 3D printed body, uh, we've got a 3D printed dash, snorkel, hood opens, doors open, 3D pr printed front bumper with setup for chassis mount servo and servo winch, we've got LEDs in the front, doors can be hinged. Front grills 3D printed, and uh, even a printed SCX10 drop skid, as we're just going to run an SCX10 drop trans or stock trans uh, in this setup. On the fence about the bench seat, um, it does fit, it looks nice. Sam Fisher fits with it, but most 425s would either have a split bench, so uh, you would have that much bent seat and a bucket, or it would just have two buckets. Um, we'll see as the build goes. See uh, what happens. You know, we only have about uh, three months left, and this has got to be finished. So this build will follow along in real time as we shoot it. And so updates won't be super frequent, but... There's lots more on the desk, like uh, we showed in the last video. And even since then, 3D printed trailer axles have showed up. So, there's going to be tons of crazy things coming. So this is the first part. Uh, we'll try to make a frame today for this. Uh, probably going to set our wheelbase in the 10 inch range. Maybe 11 inch range, depending on how it scales out. I think... The reality is, is a f single axle 425 Unimog is maybe like 9 inches. Um, but we'll find a way to make the longer bed, longer wheelbase work and look nice still. So, anyways, that's sort of part one of what we're going to work on today. We'll see okay, so we're back and we've been working in the shop. And made up some custom frame rails now for the wheelbase that we want to use. So, we just want to set up everything and get some marks as to where the skid will bolt in. So we to check sort of how far everything comes and moves and sits. So. Axle's not in the right spot. Let's go check our wheelbase. Not even close. Somewhat close. So shooting for about a 10 and a half to 11 inch wheelbase. Okay, so body sits on there, everything flush, bumpers at the front edge. Okay, so that's roughly where I want the skid to sit. And then we'll just make. Uh, let's 
see, let me see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna make our first mark in line with that hole. Second one here. Third one there. Our fourth one, roughly there. And we'll do these all slightly oversized. That way everything can move around a little bit. And then the next thing after that will be to figure out um, a rear cross member and to make some links. So we'll go drill some holes and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. So we've got our holes drilled and they for the most part line up. And just off a little bit here and there. So we're just going to go in and enlarge all these holes with a three millimeter drill bit. So these are done undersized because uh, in certain situations I'd like to uh, tap these holes and then use them uh, so they can hold without having to put a nut on the back of them. In this case we'll just we'll nut them and then we'll get rid of these nubs here as well because we're not using stock frame rails. Should be able to make those go together nicely. Okay, anyway, I'll find some hardware. All right, we're back. So we've got the holes drilled. We've got at least four bolts in there, and. set this all back up again that's roughly going to be like that mm. <sighs> it's backwards so for mock-up purposes whoops So, for mock-up purposes, we'll just turn stuff around a little bit here. So, because uh, we're going equal distance from front to back to the rear axles. We have about a 10 and a 3 quarter inch wheelbase. We should have, I think, about 11 centimeters end to end on our eyelets. We do on the back. And we do on the front as well. Okay. So the next thing is to make up a bunch of links. So our lower links here, upper links here. I think our upper links are the same. Remember, right? They are. So we've got equal length four link on the back. We should have an equal length three link set up on the front. And then we have to do a pan hard mount on this far side of the frame. Which will be something we will make in a future episode. But uh, for now, we're going to stop here and I'm going to make a bunch of links. All right. Okay, so we're back and we're going to do some of the mock-up on the frame rail. So for the rear axle, we've got four of our links made that are the same size. And we've also got ECX um, shocks. These are for the 1 uh crawlers. These are the same shocks that GCM Racing uses on their new C-Max 
series. So, and you can either run them without the spring or with the spring, uh, depending on how you're doing it. In our situation here, we're going to leave the spring on them. And uh, maybe down the road, if we want to, we can do a separate spring bucket. I don't think we have the time to do that on this build. So we're going to just get two of them out here. And may have to find a brass sleeve for that. Uh, but for now, push out this ball. That goes through there nicely. Now we are going to need to find some washers as there's a bit of a gap in there right now. But this is more just for locking up. Okay, so let's get uh, the other side of this axle mocked up. Just put it back on here so we don't lose everything. So, what we're going to try and do is, uh, not right at the second, but once that link's mounted, we're going to pick a spot in here, possibly here, let's see where that, that link mount's going to go, right there, we may pick a spot there, or we may lay the shock back a little bit. Uh, hmm. One way or the other. Uh, probably in here. And we'll mount the shock directly to the frame. Doing the same thing to the front. So that we have it's going to end up being uh, about an inch of flex at each wheel. Not sure if I want to mount above the frame just because that puts us into the floor of the body. We'll see as we get further along. May consider that. Um, I think for now we're going to end it here. This will be a good spot to stop the first video. And uh, in the meantime, I'll get some more links made up and get some, uh, some more things figured out, thought out. A couple things have to be reprinted, get those ready, and then we'll start in the next video getting stuff bolted on. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day.